peanut butter and crackers, comfort food. Not really. Pork rinds and pumpkin seed butter. Coming up after this. This is something that I never discovered or thought that would work, but it actually does. These are the pork rinds that I get, and I get them because the ingredients are so minimal. The bad thing in them, of course, is salt. It's not sea salt. That means it's refined salt. Refined salt is not good. Also, the pork that they use would be bad. It's also a Brutalet, so that's a bad company too. This, however, this is a great company and it's organic. But beggars can't be choosers. This reminds me so much of peanut butter and crackers. You know how you used to have that when you were a kid? I used to Oh no, is it one of those days where I stop thinking what I'm saying mid-sentence? I never got peanut butter and crackers, really. They're one of the things that I would have to beg the kids for. I'd ask them for their little treats and snacks from their lunches at school. I had nothing to trade for them. It's funny how kids that have candy and treats and junk food all around them all the time, they don't even care. They're like, yeah, here, take this. I don't want it. And I'm like, I would like grab that and hoard it and <laughs> Gobble it. I don't really like pork rinds on their own. They're really powerful flavor. I guess they're so salty. But I love them with something else. They taste so good with cream cheese. And... I just discovered that I love them with pumpkin seed butter. I didn't just dis I didn't just discover it. I've been doing this for quite a while, and I can take it to the next level, like a French pastry level, by putting stevia, whole green leaf powder stevia. It's the what I eat, use when I use stevia. And cacao powder and a little bit of sea salt and I turn it into a kind of like a Nutella because it's a nutty <coughs> chocolate <coughs> and then when I eat that with it it tastes like well to me it tastes like A chocolate croissant. I'm probably delusional. Sometimes I even no, I just forgot what I was saying again. Man, I talked about chocolate pastries, and, and oh, sometimes I put apple cider, I mix them with almonds, just in a bowl like this, just throw in a handful of almonds and pour apple cider vinegar on it, and it kind of tastes like 
salt and vinegar chips. They're kind of a check a check mix because you have the almonds in there too. But yeah, usually if I just I can have one or two without anything on it. I'm not good. <laughs> they're not good like that. Mm -hmm. They are good. I mean, they're not. Yeah. They're such a weird thing. They're totally keto. It really helps that they're cooked in lard. And not vegetable oil. Because vegetable oils are what are... Vegetable oil is what's bad. Because, guess what? When you eat a vegetable, there's no oil dripping off of vegetables. What do you have to do to a vegetable to squeeze fat out of it? And it's all separated from itself? Like, when a food is made, when... When food is made by God, all the stuff is put together to work together. And fat from the animal is the whole thing. I mean, we're missing some meat on it and stuff, but I actually know I'm not. Here, here's all the meat. Mm. You can only dip for so long. So, I did a lot of yard work today. Back really hurts. My back is weird. It's so it's hurtful in a, such a weird way. Because it doesn't mean I can't lift things. Well, I mean, sometimes it is I can't lift things. So sometimes it'll just spasm. I'm worried one day I'll be like riding up my bicycle and it'll like it, it did spasm the other day while I was riding my bicycle. I mean, it just, it just went, uh. But, once it spasmed, I mean, I couldn't even stand up. So I worry if I'm out in public one day and it happens. But, the thing is, there are exercises that I can do. to make it feel better, which makes me think that it could get better if I just continue to do the exercise. The exercise and strengthen my butt muscles. Because <laughs> a lot of the times when you're having back issues, it's not that there's something wrong with your back, it's that there's a weakness in another part of your body. Anyway, all new clean bedding. I came and I fell asleep. I didn't mean to. Lately I've been watching The Simple Life. I'm streaming it on Tubi, I think. Which is free. I discovered all of these free TV watching websites. Careful with my towel.
I can eat the whole jar of this. Kind of. I'm afraid to look. I think it's under my carbohydrates. I think it's just above the amount of carbohydrates. But the amount of exercise that I actually do makes it okay. But it's like the only carbohydrates I can have for the day. I think this happens. I think I eat one bag and then I have like I'd say one third left in the jar. And that's when I put in this stevia and the cacao powder. And then I might open up another bag. Which is rare for me to do. Because I usually just have one or less of these a day. I was really, really dependent on these for a while. For every meal I need to have pork rinds. But I'm better at not eating them every day. Lately, I've been making custard every day. And I probably will have that later. Which is eggs, six eggs, almond milk, Stevia, sea salt, cinnamon. I put cacao powder in that yesterday for the first time, and it smelled great. And it looked like a chocolate souffle. I think I put too much chocolate in it. And I think the new batch of stevia that I have this isn't that sweet or something, so it didn't taste great. It tastes horrible, but I definitely prefer just custard, the cinnamon flavored custard. I have to look up if cheesecake is made with eggs. If it's eggs and cream cheese, then I should be, I'll try that. Make a chocolate cheesecake. Use a cream cheese and eggs. But then I never want to because I love cream cheese just on its own. Actually, no I don't. One day I had cream cheese and no pork rinds and I said, hey I eat blocks of cheese. Maybe I can just eat the cream cheese and I ate the cream cheese with a spoon. And I didn't enjoy it. I didn't realize that there were foods that I didn't like just by themselves. This, if I add, if I turn it into a chocolate treat, I can eat it completely with a spoon. I'll just stick it in a bowl, mix it all together, and Eat it like that. I'm, I'm pretty full. I don't have to finish this. And maybe I'll come back to it later. I'm getting the crumbs this way.
No. Oh no, my clean bed. Ooh. That's not food. Maybe it was. Alright, I love you. I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Sorry I just talked about food today.